Hey everyone, Ashley with Amari. Hi. Um, okay, so I had a question that a client asked me uh, yesterday or the day before in session and I wanted to talk about it. So, <sighs> BBL chairs or anti-gravity chairs with a hole cut in it. So I posted a really long time ago on our Instagram, uh, the reel of like the avocado float that people were trying to use for BBLs and how once it's on the floor, once you're laying on your back, the hole is way too big and your butt touches the floor and you sink into it. It's really, really painful and you can't get up. Everybody laughed at it. It was real funny. Ha ha. But you guys after surgery are actually doing this stuff and winding up in a lot of pain and it's not funny. It's very, very nerve-wracking for me <laughs> as somebody who takes care of you guys and gets rid of the swelling and teaches you about how to properly take care of your BBL and your fat transfer and stuff like that. So let's let's back it up real quick. Okay, so BBL, Brazilian butt lift, fat transfer. Whether you're doing a skinny BBL where it's just fat transfer on the sides and the top for shaping or even the bottom for shaping or like a full-blown like 1500 cc's in each cheek BBL, the fat transfer all the way around on every area of your glutes including your hips. All right, so I know there are the BBL mattresses, there are BBL tables, there are BBL avocado floats, there are BBL everything, right? I have a video where I show you guys how to sleep with a BBL and in there I talk about being properly supported. Now, BBL is a fat transfer. They had to do liposuction to your abdomen, your flanks, your back, your thighs, wherever they took it from to put that fat into your glutes, into that hip region, into that butt region. So your back is also really tender and swollen and sore. So are the sides of your hips. So it's not just, when we're looking at these BBL pillow mattress float things, things with holes cut in them for you to sit in, right? When we're looking at that, we also got to remember the fat transfer is not always, not always, sometimes it is, just on your glutes. It's also on the sides of your hips. It's also underneath right? So when you're talking about cutting a hole in an anti-gravity chair, okay, this is the hole right here. And this is your butt. And on the outsides here is fat transfer. And on the outsides here is fat transfer. And you're talking about squishing your butt into that hole. The pressure from the circle that you're sitting in is going to crush the hip fat transfer. It's also going to put pressure on your back where you had the lipo done. And it's going to cut into you. Same thing like in that video with the girl and her avocado float. Same thing with some of the BBL mattresses. So you guys have to be really careful where you're putting pressure. Again, you are numb. You can't feel anything. You may feel tender and sore, but you can't really feel how much pressure is sinking into that hole. And then that hole is cutting around your BBL all the way front and back and hips so it's putting pressure on everything as you and gravity sink into that everything that's not in the hole or that that seam is covering is getting crushed so again you may not feel it you're in a garment you're swollen but that can cause a lot of damage and that can be really painful and then like the girl with the avocado float once you get in it getting out of it can be a problem now i know with the anti-gravity chairs you guys can like kick your legs up and then bring them back down to help you pop up out of the chair the same way you do with a recliner. Uh, the difference is your butt's stuck in that hole. And then when you get up, all the circulation that's been crushed because all your weight has been directly centered into that hole, that point of pressure, everything that's around where that seam of that hole was cutting in is going to hurt. So please be really careful. So like I said, I have that video where it's how to sleep with your BBL pillow, right? And how to sleep on your back with a tummy tuck and a BBL. If you notice in that video, if you guys find that it's on my YouTube, go back and watch it. The legs are elevated, the back is elevated. All of this space is empty and you're floating. So that BBL is floating and it's supported by the back of your thighs and then your back and you're supported on blankets and pillows. So you're hovering. The problem with these BBL chairs and things like that is your butt isn't hovering over that hole. Your butt is sinking directly into it and it's cutting into you and you can't feel it or you can feel it and ow. So being very careful with that. Now, if you want to use an anti-gravity chair, my suggestion is if you're going to cut a hole in it, do not sit directly in it. Put your BBL pillow 
if this is the back of the chair and the leg part comes out this way and the hole is here, put your BBL pillow under your thighs and put a couple pillows behind your back so that when you do recline back and you are laying back, you are floating above that hole. So your butt has no pressure on it. Your back is being supported by the pillows. Your thighs are being supported by your BBL pillow. So setting it up that way so you're floating in the gravity chair rather than sitting directly in that hole where your butt's cut out because think about this, even if you were to cut a hole, let's say big enough for your, like outside of your hips, not just your BBL, but the outside of your hips too, you would sink right through it. There's no support in that. So putting the BBL pillow under your thighs, putting pillows and blankets behind your back, and then reclining back. So by the time you're laying flat, you're nice and supported, and your butt and your hips are floating above that hole rather than sinking into it is going to be a great option for you. I will, I have an anti-gravity chair. I will set up a picture and put it on my Instagram so you guys can see what that looks like the way that I set it up. So that can also be a really comfortable option. Now, same thing with the recliner. A lot of you guys are in the recliner with pillows behind your back, but your butt's in like the point where the back of the recliner and the legs of the recliner meet. Your butt is sinking into that hole. You're still getting pressure on it. So again, putting your BBL pillow on the recliner, putting a nice thick stack of pillows under your legs and under your back or blankets or whatever you have, bolsters, whatever you're gonna use to make sure that even though you're in the recliner, you're floating in the recliner. The pressure is on your back and the back of your thighs with the pillows and the bolsters and the blankets so your BBL is floating in the recliner and not sinking down into the corner back here where the seat meets the back of the chair. So that's also something. Another option, and I'm going to do like a whole slideshow of videos showing you guys these three different setups. Another option, taking a kitchen chair and sitting backwards on it. So any chair, honestly, but a kitchen chair is easier usually because it doesn't have the handles that are going to like bump into your thighs. So a kitchen chair that doesn't have arms or even like a desk chair that doesn't have arms, sit backwards on it. Put your BBL pillow on the edge of the chair and then turn around and sit facing the chair so your butt is hanging off in open air and you have the BBL pillow supporting underneath your thighs so that you're sitting this way and nothing is touching you in the back and you can lean into the back of the chair like this and your whole back and butt is out facing the world and you are rested into that chair. That's a good way to sit. If you're at an office, flip the chair facing the other way so that you are leaning forward and the weight's not back on your BBL or in your thighs. That's a great way if you're sitting down to eat dinner or if you're sitting down watching TV and you don't want to lay down anymore and it's not comfortable. I know a lot of you guys work during the day and you're like kneeling, you're standing, you're doing all of that stuff, but you had lipo. So your stomach, your back, your thighs, your arms, wherever you had lipo to is also trying to heal and needs a break. So laying down is an option, but then you guys are worried about the pressure on your BBL or if you're doing it right or how much pressure is too much pressure, all that stuff. So making sure that you guys are sitting in a comfortable position where you're fully relaxed, where there's no pressure on any of the surgery area. Even when you're facing the back of the chair, you can put a pillow in front of your stomach or put a pillow on your chest and just lean your chest into the chair so that your stomach's not press pressing into the back of the chair and that your butt is hanging off of the chair in thin air, just chilling out there. So these things can work, which is what I'm trying to say. The gravity chair can work. Sitting in the recliner can work. Even the avocado float, if you were to really stack that thing up with pillows and make it leveled rather than a slant, it could work. But everything is subjective to what you have at home, what you're comfortable with, how wide your hips are, where your fat transfer is, all these different things. There is not one BBL mattress that's great for everybody. There is not one avocado float that fits everybody. I'm small. I'm 5'1". If I was to get in an avocado float, even with pillows and blankets and bolsters trying to support me, I'm going to sink right into that thing. But everybody's different. Literally, every body is different. So you have to use these things that I'm telling you as far as how the anatomy should go, how the physics should go, and set it up in a way that's comfortable for you, whether that's being a chair or on the sofa or a recliner or in bed, whatever it is. You guys have to find the right supplies in your home, the right blankets that are firm enough, the right pillows that are firm enough where you're not going to sink or teeter on, the right, you know, like I said, 
gravity chair or kitchen chair or something, I really, 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 really suggest if you are planning on getting a BBL and you are worried about six weeks of not sitting or laying on your butt, start experimenting in your home right now. Go find a chair and sit backwards on it and see where the arms are. See if the arms are already touching your hips and squeezing you and the chair is too narrow because if it's that now before surgery, after surgery, you're not going to fit in it. So start playing with those things well before surgery, Start of, starting like pre-op, like a month before. Start setting, you know, all the things up. Pick your designated chair to rest in. Pick, you know, how you're going to use the exact blankets and the exact pillows that are going to be firm enough to hold you now. Because if now, healthy body without surgery, you're setting those pillows and blankets up on that gravity chair and your hips now are feeling the pressure from that circle, you're not elevated enough. Because that hole or that circle that's cut in there is meant to just be open space. Base for your butt to float in, not hold and put pressure. So if you're feeling all those things now before surgery, they're not going to work after surgery. So making sure that you're starting to play with these things so that when you are post-op and you're in pain and you're frustrated and you can't sit and your back hurts and your stomach hurts and you're sore, that you have some kind of a setup where you're like, okay, this worked last time. Now let me see how I can tweak it and modify it a little bit more to make sure it works this time. Because again, not everyone's going to like a gravity chair. Not everyone's going to like a BBL mattress or an avocado. And you may not even need those things. You may have a recliner in your home right now that's perfect. You just have to modify it with nice firm pillows, nice thick blankets to make sure that you're hovering and being held in that chair. So that's a little bit about that. Um, but I do think gravity chairs, because that's the original point of this video, I do think gravity chairs can be useful if like I said, you are floating on it and you have that hole cut for that open space. Now, how big you have to cut the hole, I can't speak on that. Again, everybody's BBL is different. Some people are doing skinny BBLs. Some people are doing full-blown BBLs. Some people are just doing hip dips. Some people are doing just the underneath and the shaping to change the shape of it rather than the volume. That's up to you to figure out how wide that hole needs to be. And then after surgery, depending on how swollen you are and how much fat you've had put in, then you may need to cut it a little bit more. But again, that hole, one more time, that hole is not for you to sit in. That hole is to be open space in the chair so your butt and your hips aren't touching anything at all. So you should be supporting that with your BBL pillow and some nice, firm, thick pillows behind your back so when you lean back in that gravity chair, you are floating in it. Your back is resting on the pillows, your thighs are resting on your BBL pillow, and your butt is floating in that open space of the hole, not sitting directly in it. So that's my little spiel on the gravity chair, mattress, BBL, lots of things. They can all work. They can, but you have to understand what we're trying to do to get them to work and then modify accordingly. So there is that. If you guys are planning to have surgery or if you have had surgery and you are frustrated with all the BBL mattress pillow things um, or you need help with your garments or you're having fibrosis and you need help with swelling or you're concerned that your BBL is not shaped right, we do offer virtual consults. I do. Um, give the office a call, 732-841-0142. Alex will help you get set up with a virtual with me. I am in New Jersey. If you are in New Jersey, you can come in for a session. We're in Highland Park and Elizabeth. Again, call the office, 732-841-0142. If you guys need a BBL pillow, if you need to learn how to sit on a BBL pillow, if you need foams for your compression garment, for your lipo, lipo foams, or how to use your lipo foams, amarepostopshop.com, the link is in the bio. If you go to the website and you click on the product page, Every product page has a video. So the BBL pillow has the video of how to sit on your BBL pillow. The lipo foams has the video teaching you why you would need lipo foams, how to put them in your garment, and how to use them, and how to wash them, and all the details. So head over to those places, check that out. If you send us a DM, we will tell you to call the office. So, one more time, if you need an appointment, Call the office, 732-841-0142. I hope this was a little bit helpful and clarified a little bit as to how to use the gravity chair situation. I know some people that don't cut the hole. They just stack it up 
with a lot of like really hard like throw pillows so that they're not moving or shifting. And here's the other thing, test it out before your surgery because I had a client who got a gravity chair, set it up, it was perfect, cut a nice big hole in it, it was perfect, everything worked. And then she had surgery and she went to sit in the chair and her hips were too wide. The, the plastic handles of the chair, the armrests of the chair were too narrow for her hips because she had fat transfer to her hips and then she couldn't fit in the chair. So she had her husband break off the arms of the chair for her. Now, here's the problem with that. Trying to get up out of the chair. She did not have the strength after the lipo to kick the footrest part of the gravity chair back down and then did not have handles to grab onto to pull herself out of the chair. So again, modifying beforehand, making sure that you have enough room between you and the armrest, making sure that the hole is big enough that you guys are playing with these things beforehand and setting them up. That is the goal of today's video. Ashley with Amare. I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye.